Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows has a built-in formatting system, as many of you may know, that if you right-click on a drive or a flash disk or pen drive, you get the format option, which then lets you format that drive or that flash drive uh, using a couple of different settings. Now, I have, have actually posted a whole video on how to format a USB drive on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and that video will be in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, in regards to uh, formatting a drive in Windows 10 and Windows 11, this user interface has been around now for 30 years. So, if you are wondering why, it kind of looks a little bit different to the rest of the OS. We can see it's looking quite legacy compared to um, other aspects of Windows. It's because it apparently was going to be a temporary user interface when it was created, give or take, 30 years ago. And this was created by um, Dave Plummer, who was with Microsoft back in the day. And Dave Plummer, as you may well know, has also created stalwarts like the task manager, Windows Pinball, native zip support in Windows, which goes back over 30 years ago. And he's shared um, over on X, um, formerly known as Twitter, the story basically behind create, creating the format dialog uh, in Windows, which as mentioned has been around now, give or take for 30 years. So if you would be interested, just a bit of a um, just going to pull out some key highlights from that post of Dave Plummer's over on X. He says, I wrote this format dialogue back on a rainy Thursday morning at Microsoft in late 1994. So as I mentioned, this has been around now, give or take for 30 odd years. He mentions that uh, we were porting the bajillion lines of code from the Windows 95 user interface over to NT. And format was just one of those areas where Windows NT was different enough from Windows 95 that we had to come up with some custom UI, user interface. So he also mentions that um, I got out a piece of paper and wrote down all the options and choices you could make with respect to formatting a disk like file system. So we've got a couple of options for file system. Uh, label. Cluster size. So you've got a basically an allocation cluster size. You've got the volume label. So those are the things he jotted down quickly on a piece of paper. Compression, encryption, and so on. And he also mentions that was some 30 years ago, and the dialogue is still my temporary one from that Thursday morning, so be careful about checking in temporary solutions. So this was a temporary solution when they were moving over from Windows 95 to Windows NT back in the day in 1994, and it's stuck around now as a legacy aspect of Windows, even in Windows 10 up to Windows 11. And I'm still sure that Windows 11 24H2 will still include the same formatting dialog to some extent or the other. And he mentions lastly that I also had to decide how much cluster slack would be too much and that wound up constraining the format size of a FAT uh, volume to 32 gigabytes. That limit was also an arbitrary choice that morning and one that has stuck with us as a permanent side effect. So there you go. This was a temporary solution and as mentioned has stuck around now in Windows over the last 30 odd years. And I thought that was interesting and just wanted to let you guys know about it. That that's the whole kind of creation and backstory behind the format dialogue that is now found in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.